You got it. Hi, I'm Tracy Shannon, and I am known as Star Tracy. And then I'm just thrilled to be here. So thank you for your time. Oh, no problem, Tracy. Pleasure. Hi. So um, I am just thrilled to be talking to you about Wandla. And um, when I get these opportunities, I do a little peeking around before I try to watch anything about it. And I have known you before I knew of you in this because there's nothing you've done that I haven't laughed, cried, loved in so many ways. So I'm just thrilled to um, have this time to talk with you because when I did watch the trailer, I thought it was as if Wally didn't go off on the ship. <laughs> Instead, he did manage to clean the earth. Life came back and then he found one woman. Right. It just, it had that kind of heart to it, to me. I like if, then he found somehow he raised a human down there and brought it up and then she got to investigate earth. So I have to 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 just know um, how you found this book, which, by the way, the second thing I loved about it is that um, the author, the Spiderwick Chronicles, are a family favorite. So just tell me about how you found them and fell in love and helped make this come to life. Sure. Uh, yeah, Tony Dittrizzi wrote, uh, yeah, co-wrote Spiderwick and wrote uh, Wandla, and uh, you know when. It, and Tony, just so you know, Tony was involved in the show and still is involved as we're working on later seasons right now. And um, which is great to have the author with you versus like, oh, we're adapting someone's book, but they don't have a voice in it. So it's great that he has a he has a voice in the adaptation of his book to the animation. Um, you know, Tony wrote the book. He was inspired by his daughter um, because he was raising his daughter, knowing that he was going to have to send her let her go out into the world someday, right? Without him there to offer guidance. And so he sort of took that idea and expanded it into this extreme version, which is like, you know, the last human being raised, potentially the last human being raised in this sanctuary bunker and then being put out into the world, but it's crazy world in an alien world. So he, I love that he took this sort of very sort of basic thing about letting your child go and then turned it into this sort of took this sci-fi sci spin on it. And I have a daughter the same age as Tony's. And so it's very easy, easy way in to care. Because at the end of the day, Tracy, it's like we can make something look beautiful and gorgeous and fantastic. And, uh, and but if you don't care from a basic emotional standpoint, um, like I don't, you need to, the audience needs to be invested in the characters and the emotion and, and, and say to themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go on this journey with this, characters so um so yeah tony tony's book i love the way into it from this basically simple parent releasing a child kind of idea i love that too i have a um 17 year old daughter who is about to be a senior in high school so i think i resonated with that very yeah. much as well and you led me straight into my next question which is it's a trilogy of books is each season representative of a, a book uh yes yeah we're basically adapting the whole uh, the whole trilogy um you know we we've, we've explored some other potential storylines as as you'll you'll see but again all with sort of tony's blessing so um so again when things are true to the books that's uh, great and then if things digress from or, or you know deviate i mean from the books um everybody should know that that Tony was, um, you know, he's a part of it. Yeah, totally, hundred percent. Oh, he, that's awesome! He, I love that. He's excited um, about getting to be able to play with the with his Wandla, you know, toys again, basically. Well, I um, I really appreciate your time. I'm super excited for the full season and what will come. And um, you're just uh, an awesome producer, and I look forward to more from you. And thanks again. All right, thanks, Tracy. Thank you. Bye.